At a certain point, celebrities become accustomed to getting free stuff. Eventually that leads to a massive sense of entitlement, especially when they don't get their way. So in this video, we're gonna be counting down the top 10 times celebrities wanted free stuff and got exposed. Number 10, James Corden. Back in October, the owner of a high-end New York City restaurant called Balthazar made a viral Instagram post blasting James Corden for his horrible behavior towards staff. He called him a tiny credit of a man and the worst customer to his service since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. He claimed that in one instance, James demanded two free rounds of drinks for him and his friends after he presented a hair that was found on his food. He allegedly said, get us another round of drinks this second and also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way I won't write any nasty reviews on Yelp. So he pretty much threatened to ruin the restaurant's reputation with his fame and influence. On another occasion, he is said to have flipped out when an egg yolk omelet that his wife had ordered was found to have a little bit of egg white in it. He allegedly went ballistic. According to the owner, James was so awful that he felt compelled to out him publicly and ban him from the restaurant entirely, something that is very rarely done in high-end establishments. Amidst the growing controversy, James eventually addressed the incident on The Late Late Show, but he never fully took responsibility for his behavior. Number nine, Britney Spears. The singer has been in the spotlight for several years now, so it's no wonder that she's used to getting a ton of freebies wherever she goes. In the early 2000s, it was reported that she would often visit a Greenwich Village Starbucks to load up on caffeine. But one day she had enough of paying for the drinks herself. So she allegedly looked at the cashier and said, don't you know who I am? To which the cashier replied, yes, but you still have to pay, sorry. And that wasn't the only time she tried to pull something like that. In 2005, she attended the Broadway show Cabaret at Studio 54. And according to eyewitnesses, she ate and drank a ton and left early. She also never paid for anything. She assumed that it was free. So either she just thought that it was free or she actually decided to leave the scene before she could find out. Either way, Britney is doing very well these days. After getting free from her 14 year long conservatorship in November of 2021, she has a net worth of $60 million. It's a bit smaller than other stars of her stature, but that has a lot to do with paying exorbitant legal fees over the years. Number eight, Anna Nicole Smith. Back in 2002, Anna was taping her show for E! when she went on a shopping trip at New York's big drop boutique and waltzed out with everything for free. The moment was filmed by Entertainment Tonight and she said she could come to the store and get $2,000 worth of clothing for free. At the time, a source close to the star said that was the condition that she wanted to bring her show there. Anna Nicole is remembered for her infamous marriage to oil tycoon Howard J. Marshall. He was worth around $2 billion at the time of his death, but he never actually put her in his will. She claimed that he verbally promised her half of his estate, but she ended up receiving nothing, although she did spend a lot of his money while he was still alive, like racking up a $2 million bill on one single shopping trip. Anna ended up filing for bankruptcy in 1996 which was a direct response to earning nothing from her late husband's will. In her claim, she said that Marshall's oldest son, Pierce, had interfered with her potential inheritance somehow. The court sided with her and she was awarded $474 million. But in the end, the entire amount was appealed and reduced to only $88 million. Number seven, Sharon Stone. In 1993, the actress thought that Harry Winston had given her a $400,000 diamond necklace while she was promoting the movie Sliver. But it turns out that it wasn't actually a gift and they certainly wanted it back. When she refused, they threatened her with criminal charges. And then she ended up suing them for $12 million for a breach of contract. The lawsuit was settled and she gave the gems back and the jewelers agreed to make a gift to Anne Farr. But that wasn't the only time that Sharon made an expensive mistake. In 2008, over 69,000 people lost their lives when a massive earthquake hit Southwest China on May 12th of that year. During an interview, the actress said that the earthquake was karma for Beijing's treatment of Tibet. This caused widespread anger in China and they decided to ban all of her films in the country. Sharon later tried to apologize but the damage was already done. The backlash against her led Christian Dior to cancel her makeup modeling contract that was worth millions. Their spokesperson came out saying, we don't support any type of commentary that will hurt the feelings of our customers. The controversy even hurt Christian Dior as China was its fastest growing market at the time and sales were greatly affected. Up next, Tara Reid. The actress reportedly went into a store looking for an outfit to wear for Coachella. When she was getting rung up by the cashier, she then decided to ask for a discount, apparently because of her fame. And yes, that is the actual reason that she gave. When the clerk refused to do it, Tara began to freak out and scream at her, and she had to be escorted out of the store. Now, her reasoning might have worked if she was a little more famous at the time, which is something that she achieved early on in her career, but she was not really able to hold on to. There's no doubt that she was one of Hollywood's it girls in the 
late 90s and early 2000s. Tara achieved real fame by playing Vicky in the hugely popular American Pie. She was also in Cruel Intentions, Van Wilder and Scrubs. But at the time of her blow up in Hollywood, she was seen partying more and more and became less credible in that scene. Eventually the publicity of her clubbing lifestyle led to her e-show Taradice, which ended up flopping and just made things even worse for her image. From that point on, Tara would unfortunately be in and out of rehab and had trouble maintaining sobriety. Number 5 P Diddy Back in 2005, the rapper reportedly charged $100,000 to Miami's Hotel Victor for partying at its opening. He went to the nightclub called Bed, but when he arrived, every table was full of people. According to eyewitnesses, he demanded the best table with free drinks. They gave him a table, but they didn't give him the drinks. So when he grabbed the microphone and started rapping, he already had his revenge in mind. And it was extremely petty. Apparently, he stopped performing in the middle of the song, turned off the music, and demanded a bottle of Hypnotic before he could finish the song. Clearly that did the trick and he got exactly what he wanted. Even though several years have passed since this incident, it's safe to say that Diddy hasn't lost his attitude. You don't have to dig too deep online to unearth some of the most cockiest things a rapper has ever said. Like the infamous Playboy interview where he said, if I'm not inspiring you at this point, you're a lost hope. I dare you to write down all of my achievements, it will be overwhelming. Who else has conquered television? Who else has conquered fashion? Honestly, it's hard to believe some of these statements are even real, but it really all comes down to ego. Number 4 David Spade The actor and comedian was invited to a concert for a local band at Club Cherry in LA and his ticket was given to him for free. While he watched the band play, he ordered a massive drinks, but when he got bored, he simply left without paying the bill. Instead, the confused wait staff approached other guests, thinking that they would take care of the tab for him. While David Spade is famous for playing goofy and irresponsible characters on screen, he also has his fair share of sketchy moments that have more or less been swept under the rug. He once trashed his fellow comedian Eddie Murphy while his career was at his lowest. According to Cheat Sheet, Spade called Murphy a fallen star, which Murphy did not take too well. The two mended fences 20 years later and Murphy is arguably well on his way back to stardom. Then there was also Ellen DeGeneres' 60th birthday party, which was full of celebrities including David Spade, as he was one of her longtime friends. Apparently he claimed to have an out of body experience at the party where he thought that Ellen was Justin Bieber for most of the party. He never even said hi to her at her own party. Number 3 Rachel Hunter According to one event publicist, the model never met a gift bag that she didn't like. In fact, she liked them so much that she would often take 4 or 5 at a time. The story goes that a few years ago, she was at a Maxim party in LA. She allegedly left the party but later came back to collect a few more bags. Apparently the police had to shut down the event due to overcrowding and they were attempting to clear the area. But Rachel ignored them until finally a policeman was forced to yell over a megaphone saying, ma'am step away from the goodie bag. Although she loves freebies, she certainly doesn't need them. Rachel has a reported net worth of around $40 million. She's best known for being the ex-wife of musician Rod Stewart, but over the years she has become a household name in the fashion industry, and she's also ventured into other forms of entertainment work. She's famous for hosting Rachel Hunter's Tour of Beauty on Imagination Television. She's been quite successful in the acting world too, and she's appeared in a number of movies along with reality TV. The model had a year-long stint as a judge on New Zealand's God Talent, and she's also in a celebrity episode of Lingo. Number 2 Marissa Tomei While at the Sundance Film Festival, it was said that she demanded two of everything, since she was starring in two movies that were in competition. One of the publicists said, I was working at a swag house and Marissa came in twice. She said since she was in two movies, she was entitled to more electronics. What can you do but give it to her? Apparently she also demanded that a celebrity hairstylist by the name of Kevin Mancuso visit her almost every day at her condo to prep her hair for free. Marissa has been relatively free from controversies over the years. But most people still remember what went down with her Oscar for My Cousin Vinny. More than two decades ago, she was nominated for the Best Supporting Actress for her work as Mona Lisa Vito, and she was up against Hollywood heavyweights. She was a relatively unknown actress at the time, so when she actually won, it started a horrible rumor that she had trouble shaking over the years. Some people speculated that she didn't actually win. As the rumor goes, Jack Palance was too drunk to read the right name on the card. Instead, some people claim that he repeated the last name on the teleprompter, which was to me. But of course, this is just a rumor and nothing more. And coming in at number one, Andy Dick. He might have had his own reality TV show, but Andy Dick would still do anything for a free Vespa. At a party for Vespa in LA, he reportedly threw a fit when he wasn't offered one of the fancy Italian scooters in return for just showing up to the party. According to eyewitnesses, the organizers told him, we are not giving out Vespas at this party, but maybe we can work something out. Then they gave him a goodie bag, but he still wasn't happy. The comedian has largely fallen off the radar in recent years, as he was 
was picking up more attention for his tabloid worthy bad behavior rather than for his film or TV work. In 2006, Andy famously licked Farah Fawcett, Carrie Fisher, and Patton Oswalt during Comedy Central's roast of William Shatner. While the roasts are known for being over the top, he went way too far. He also bit New York Post writer Mandy Stadmiller. He returned to rehab after the incident but made another outrageous TV appearance the following year when he was dragged off the set of Jimmy Kimmel Live. He basically refused to stop touching fellow guest Ivanka Trump, and Jimmy actually kicked him off stage by dragging him by his feet while he was still kicking and screaming. So what do you guys think about all the names on this list? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.